guys, I'm back for part two of Legend of Zelda. We just finished up uh, level five, and now we're gonna go find level six. Let's go. This is the famous part that I hear lots of stories about. We are now in the Lost Woods. I discovered that luckily, some kind soul wrote down in the manual, Lost Woods, up, left, down, left. So we're gonna do that and see if this guy was a liar or not. Up. <laughs> Left. A down. And a left. Now let's see if this works. Oh, thank god. What if I just go up? Oh! Oh! These guys are new, aren't they? Uh, I'm just gonna keep going up. Up the escalator. Let's see if that works. <gasps> Tombstones. Oh my god. This is cool. Ah! <laughs> Alright, so let's wake up some ghosts. Okay, so that's the main one. I see him. Okay, let's kill him. Oh god. This is... There's too many ghosts! Look at this shit! Oh my god. Okay. So we got a bunch of things. Alright, so let's go this way. Oh, jeez. Go up, 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 up. Just escape. Ooh. Oh my god, is this another dungeon? I'm just gonna go- I'm gonna play it safe, and we're just gonna go in the mouth. <laughs> we're in level six? Okay, I thought that was gonna take longer, so we're now in level six. I believe these are the whiz robes. I always liked that name. Yay, we did it! Okay, so we got a key. Oh no, more dark rooms! Oh, aim at the eyes of Goma. Ooh, my friends. The little gel jellies. I like them because they just look like squishy little pears, you know? Alright, what's in here? Oh god. I don't- I don't know how to do this without getting hit! There's too many projectiles! Fuck. Uh. Okay, just pay attention, Aaron. Calm down. There we go. Let's go. Run. <laughs> that was so sloppy. But, oh god. It keeps getting worse. Um, it's gonna be okay. Well, that wasn't too bad. Oh, but what about this? Oh god. Oh god, they're all here. Oh god, we're gonna die. Alright, well let's try that again. See, the room before that, it's like really hard for me not to get hit, so I'm a little, a little scared. Okay, so I got the red potion, but I just remembered that there was a heart piece that I didn't get last time. So we're gonna go grab that real quick because that will for sure help me get through level 6 because that room with the baths, it's like a bullet hell, like, kicks my ass. Okay, thank god. Okay, so we got that. Ah! <laughs> Alright, so now I just need to get the fuck out of here. Okay, we're going back into the bullet hell bat orb room. Oh, fuck. It's so bad! This is the worst. I wasn't prepared for this. Okay. Um, not great, but not that bad. Okay. Okay, this part, again, not- this part's not too bad, everything's okay. This part, though. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, I'm gonna start, like, bombing everything, because I can't. Oh, God. Uh, of course, of course. Okay. I don't know. I'm gonna use a few more bombs. Oh, wait. Okay. I'm getting overwhelmed, so I, I'm sorry I keep pausing. <laughs> it's just really stressful. Okay, I need that heart. Uh. Oh my god. Okay, one more pancake stack of like likes. I was gonna push a block, right? Okay, there we go. Wow, that broke my brain. Oh, Jesus. 
<laughs> More whiz robes! Okay, since I'm gonna die, I'm gonna use the potion. Let's see. Ugh. Oh, a door! Okay, so... Okay, so I'm gonna use my potion. Oh, Jesus. Dragon time. Okay. There we go! Okay, so one thing that is forgiving about these dungeons, like, I'm probably gonna die here, but when you fight, like, the big, I don't know if you call it, mid-bosses, or, like, the big guys, whatever, you don't have to fight them again. So basically, if I die, I'm not gonna have to fight that dragon again, because I remember that from the Manhandla, was that what it was called? Like, I died, but I didn't have to fight him again. Oh no. Oh no. You see? And I died there, so we're gonna have to do that over again. But at least, no more Dragon Boy. Okay, so I had my bombs on, I went back, and I got Potion. And now we're gonna try it again. Yes! Okay, come on. Just a few more. Hold on, I guess I should use Potion. Okay, so I'm using the potion. One last whiz robe. <sighs> now it's getting stressful. It's officially stressful as fuck. So, it's so much more helpful when you have the shooty sword. Okay, so now I'm gonna go... Right? Yeah. Yay! What are you? Okay. Scepter, I'm gonna guess. Wand? I don't know. Let's equip it and see what it does. Oh, hey, we got like Wizro powers. Oh my god, you know what? So now it's like I have infinite shooty sword. That rules, okay. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna try to find that room where I bombed the wall on accident when I was trying to bomb the Wiz robes. So let's see if we can find that. There it is. Hmm. <laughs> That's satisfying. I wish I had one of these in real life. Ooh, 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 ooh! <gasps> okay, that was awesome! I did not expect to get a time stopper. That made everything so much more pleasant. Oh my goodness. Okay, let me put uh, this back on. Oh god! Ah! Heart. Fuck you all. <laughs> Fuck out of here. Oh god, okay, so now we're at the bottom. <laughs> so I remember the old man saying, aim for the eye. So I assume that means an arrow, which I totally forgot we had, to be honest. So, okay, let's use the arrow. And let's try to do this. Oh my god. Really? Really? That was it? I was not expecting the boss to... Um, and that fast. What? Master using it and you can have this. Is, is that what I think it is? Oh shit, I think we got the magical sword. <gasps> okay, so I've been walking around collecting rupees, trying to get enough money so I can, um, uh, be prepared for level 7, you know, get the potion. So, right now, we have the magic sword, master sword, whatever you want to call it. And look, these guys only take one hit. <laughs> well, you know. Oh! It's the, um... That's not a croissant, it's a bracelet! So I just came out of that door, got some more money from our moblin friend, you know, to go towards our potion fund. So, um, let's see if there's any more doors over here, but oh, wait, I want to kill this guy. Ha! <laughs> okay, I- is there any other ones, or is it just that one? I guess there want to be two next to each other. I don't know. Alright, let's go in here. 
Take any one you want. Always heart container, always heart container. There's two more heart containers, right? Wow, okay, we're getting through this. Oh yeah, so the last two uh, heart containers would be for level seven and level eight. Okay, let's go, ooh, let's go in there before we get shot by a fireball. Okay, so I was thinking, because now I have kind of a lot of money, <laughs> um, that maybe we could buy the shield. So I'm gonna do that and see what that's all about. Yeah, and ooh, there was meat there. I wonder what the meat does. It doesn't look as tasty as some Castlevania wall meat, but I mean, it's a good chunk of meat. Okay, so, you know, the map came with every copy of Legend of Zelda. Here it is. But one thing I didn't notice until now, whoever had this before me, probably some really cool fifth grader from the 80s, marked off everything. Because you see it's printed like, okay, level one, level four, level two, but then after, you know, I think after level four, you're kind of on your own. But whoever had this, this awesome person went in and marked off everything. He marked off level six, level seven, level five. So I now have a guide and I am not afraid to use it. Okay, so according to that kid's map, I am now in the general vicinity of level seven. So I don't see a dungeon entrance or anything. So I'm just gonna, you know what, let's burn a bush. I don't know. Nope. Can I bomb it here? There we go. Oh. <gasps> wow, you cryptic bastard, you Link. Okay. <laughs> so now the water, like, drained itself, I guess. And now we're gonna go down the stairwell into the secret dungeon. That's scary. What if the water comes back? I don't, I don't like this one. Okay, so now we are in level 7. This is very green and blue. Okay, I guess that makes sense for being under a lake. Okay, so now I'm gonna try- I'm just bombing rooms now. Shit. Yes! <laughs> yes! <laughs> I was excited and caught off guard. Okay, uh... Oh, I bet you'd like to have more bombs. You think? Previously we had 8 bombs, like that was the max we could get, and now we have 12 bombs max. And he gave us some bombs. So that was a really good thing. Okay, so now let's go up. Grumble, grumble. <laughs> oh, he an enemy? He's not gonna give me anything? Oh, do I like use a bomb or something? Oh, that did a lot. Okay, so I have an empty spot, you know, where an item is supposed to be, so maybe that is the thing I need. So, I mean, um, that guy was selling meat. This guy eat meat. Okay, so we have just enough money for some meat. Let's do it. This is expensive. I agree. Eat it! Eat it! Oh, you disappeared. So he was just hungry. He was a hungry Garaya. I know another hungry Garaya. Okay, so they're destroyed. Let's go. Ooh, what kind of candle is this? Maybe it's like a beefier, better candle. Okay, so let's try bombing over here. Yeah, nice. First try. Let's try using the candle. Oh. Okay. Cool. So it kind of works. I don't know if I'm going to use it for these guys, but that lasts forever. So now we don't have to go off screen to like recharge the candle. That's awesome. Yay, we got a bomb! Okay, so I'm out of keys. So now I'm gonna have to find a key and come back. So that kind of blows. Oh, key, key. Okay, so we got the key. Now let's go back to where we were. Okay, so I only have one key, so I hope I'm choosing right. I'm gonna go the right. I hate these guys. 
it's so annoying. I don't I don't know why it annoys me so much not to use the whistle on these guys. <laughs> make no sense! At least in my head it makes no sense. Okay, so I opened that up, we're gonna go in there, because I'm so bad at feeding bombs to those Triceratops. I just, I can't do it. I can't do it. Okay. Uh, uh, I don't like that. Uh, uh, fuckers. Uh, okay, so I'm trying not to, like, get trapped in the top or bottom. I'm trying to stay in- shit. Whoa, I almost touched that. Because if I grabbed that clock, it would totally just, I think it would just make me lose, just not lose, but like it would just trap me there forever. So I'm going to not grab that. Um, hopefully it goes away. Shit. Okay, so now I'm in a bad, uh, oh no, okay. See, I'm getting tongue-tied because I'm trying so hard not to go next to the wall, I'm trying to trigger everything. Are they gone? I think I got them all. Okay, maybe, you know what, maybe I push blocks. Over here? Ah, okay. Okay, so I'm gonna kill all these guys. I still hear the boss noise. Uh, so I think we're still on track. Okay, so I was gonna talk about the map, which I still am, but um, that looks like Kermit the Frog's head when his mouth is open, like... <laughs> okay, anyway, I had to point that out. Hopefully somebody else can see it, not just me. So, okay, so the Triforce is, like, to our right, so I'm guessing the boss is the next room over, so I'm gonna bomb. Yay, heart container! And another- oh, we did get that heart. Triforce piece. I can read maps. So I thought that was gonna be, like, I don't know, it's not a different boss, but I'm like, wait, we've seen him before. So that was a level one boss, right? And I was like, yeah, let's just, let's bring him back. Surprise, remember me? <laughs> Tech tight. They're so cute, aren't they? They're kind of cute. They're evil, though. Alright, so, now that we have the bracelet, we have the power to move heavy jello molds. What if, like, we discover stairs at some point that we're not supposed to go down? That's what I'm afraid of. Ooh, okay, uh, pick any road you want. See, I always like to go in the middle, but I feel like that's the choice they think you're gonna pick, and then it won't be as good. So I'm gonna go with the third one, because my favorite number is three! So let's go with the third one! Do you like my logic? Okay. Ooh, what did that do? I don't even know what that did. You know what? It's kind of cool. So Hyrule is kind of like it has its own subway system, you know, because we went down some stairs, we came out another side in a totally different area. It's also kind of like, you know, the Utilidors at Disney World or something, because, you know, you just go down one pathway, go underground for a while, and then you come up somewhere totally different. Okay, so let's see if there's anything in these mounds of rock. Not that one. There has to be, right? Oh, there totally was! Okay, so let's go down here. Ones, wait, ones who does not have Triforce can't go in. Whoa. Okay, so I think what he's trying to say is those who do not have all of the Triforce pieces cannot go in. Okay, yeah, so we need one more piece and then we can go into level nine. Okay, so now that I have the map and it's labeled, it's telling me that level 8 is over here. So I love how that bush is just so like, you burn this, you burn it. <laughs> That's good though. There's enough cryptic shit in this game where they can have some obvious things like that. People like me appreciate it that are not good with cryptic shit. <laughs> Let's go up. Oh, this guy. Ah. Yeah, that's right. Haha. -ha. Oh god. Uh. Oh, oh no. 
This is my worst nightmare. We have like the guys spitting the fireballs and dark nuts. Oh. Ah, I was. Ah. Shit. Okay. See, it's like I forget. I forgot. You can only stab them from the side. Come on, Aaron, get it together. There we go. See, we got the beefy sword now. This is doable. It's okay. I mean, it's not really, but... Oh, fuck. It's totally not okay. Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, go! <laughs> okay. I thought that was gonna be worse. Oh, God. <laughs> There's just so much happening. Uh, let's go. Okay. Oh, God. Really? Really? More? Why? I hate, I hate you all. I hate you. Okay, potion time. Oh, thank god. Finally! God, where am I? Oh god, oh god. <sighs> Things really heat up, huh? Later in the game. Gliok. Okay, so I was gonna stab him, and I have more potion, which I'm probably gonna have to use. Maybe not. Oh shit! That worked out better than I expected. All right. Oh shit. That felt really fast. <gasps> Yay! Oh my goodness. Another Triforce piece has been collected. But I did not get the dungeon item, so we're gonna have to go back in. <sighs> oh, another one of these guys. I like these guys. <sighs> Going too fast! Jesus. <laughs> Alright. Okay, so we just uncovered the map, and I guess we just keep going up. That was my last key. Oh, no. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I used the arrow for him. I remember. When his eyeball is open. Oh, Come on. I thought you only took, like, one. Maybe the previous one only took, like, one. Open. Fuck. Oh, fucker. Finally! Ugh! That was awful! Alright. Oh, look at this! It looks like a Winnie the Pooh key. <laughs> That's awesome. I like that key very much. Okay, so that was the dungeon item, which I think that's the master key because I see that um, instead of saying, you know, zero keys, it now says A. So I think we don't need to get any more keys because this key will open everything for us. We are entering level 9! Wow. I like how the music's like way more intense because this is it. This is the final dungeon and I'm really scared because the last ones have really stressed me out, so. Uh-oh. This guy. Nice. Okay. Ooh. I like those guys. They're fun. Oh, fuck. Okay, so I gotta be careful here because these guys will steal my shield. I finally bought a shield. Come on, die! Oh! I know him! He's a Patra! Let me put on a boomerang, because I don't think that was doing anything. I don't know if this does anything. I don't know. 
But I think we gotta kill all these little dudes. They look like flying potatoes. <laughs> and now we gotta take care of this guy. Oh, and a bomb. That's always good. Can you move these? Nope. Alright, so let's go down. Nice. Oh, another one. <laughs> I don't- stop! Stop expanding and doing crazy shit. I'm just gonna do this. I know this is sloppy and I'm taking a lot of hits, but like, I don't know what else to do. <laughs> okay. Damn it! Yay! We got the map! That kind of looks like a space invader with no hands. <laughs> okay, now... You know what? I feel like now it's like a lot of bombing, so I'm gonna just keep trying to bomb places. Okay, so now we can go up. Oh no. Why are there so many? Can they like stop? Shit. Ugh. Damn it, damn it, damn it! Oh shit, he took my shield! I don't have like the big shield anymore! Stupid pancake dude! Can I blow him up? A little bit. Look how little the shield is! Aww. Okay, so I'm gonna keep with my theme of bombing things. So let's try bombing up. Haha! Kinda getting the hang of this a little bit. Oh god. Fuck, 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 fuck. Okay. Trying to get away from them. Ugh, thank god for potion. <laughs> I, I do not like them at all. There we go. Okay, so now I do this, right? Okay. Get out. Go. Go. Go! <sighs> okay. Ooh, another ring? That's cool. Okay, so now we're red. Look at that, we got another costume change. And, I mean, the last ring made us stronger, so I'm gonna guess this is the same thing, so now we're even stronger. So that's pretty cool. Alright, now we're going through this door. Go to the next room. I think he's telling me to bomb something. How did he get in there? I guess he went through that door, but... I don't know. Oh god. It's always great when you accidentally waste a bomb, isn't it? I hate you all. Hate. At least there's no bubble in this room. Demon bubble to take my sword away. But this is still pretty awful. <laughs> there's nothing else around them. There we go! jelly pears. <laughs> Bat room. <laughs> I don't think we've seen just a room full of these guys, right? Because they're usually just by like where you go underground. You know what's funny? It's like just imagine you walk into a house. Oh hey! And like you just open a door and there's no furniture, you know, nothing, no items, just bats. <laughs> That'd be really funny. One thing I want to say about the Patra I love how the spinning ring, like, twists like that. Isn't that cool? I think it's cool. I just like that little effect. It could just spin, you know, and not change, uh, not get horizontal like that. But no, they went the extra mile. Okay, so... Killed him. Got that, and now we're gonna go down the stairs, right? Ugh, ugh. See, this is where I'm used to seeing the bats, not just room full of them. Maybe that's where they hang out when they're not bothering me here. You know what? This whole, like, dungeon has been about bombing everything. So pretty much anywhere where it looks like you should bomb it, I'm just gonna bomb it. Okay, and I'm just gonna get the hell out of there, and now I'm gonna use a potion. Because I'm not in good shape. Yeah. I don't know, the sound makes me laugh, like when you have all the heart containers. And by the way, hey, we have all the heart containers. <laughs> um, it's just funny how tense it is. Okay, so now... I guess I'll put my bomb on. Okay. Oh 
god. Yes, please. Thank you. Where even am I? There's like too much going on. I don't do well with that. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. One the guy left. Okay. Was that it? I guess that was it. So this kind of reminds me of a level we did recently. Not a level, but a place in a dungeon we did recently. Where um, if you touch the wall, the wall masters would come out and grab ya. Um, but we pushed something. So I'm going to see if that's the case here. I feel like it should be. Ah, I was right. I hate those glowy things. Even though they don't hurt you, it's still enough to make me really tense. Hey, we got the silver arrow! So now it's like everything's pretty much been upgraded. You know, first we got the boomerang upgrade, and then we got the candle upgrade, which is awesome because you don't have to keep going back and forth between the screens, you know, because you can use it more than once. Now we have the arrow upgrade. So I bet that makes us even more awesome and powerful. Oh, it's in here. Oh, they're going fast. Fast. Fast centipedes. I like these guys. They're cool. Oh, thank god. I was so scared that we weren't gonna find any more bombs because, as you can tell, you definitely need bombs and I'm sure we're gonna need more. So that worked out great. So I've just been like wandering around forever trying to find out where to go, like where to find the boss. Um, it's driving me crazy. I'm not good at fighting whiz robes. I don't like saying the word whiz robe because it, I keep feeling like I'm gonna say whiz robe. <laughs> Alright, so... Hey, okay. So I was right about pushing that little pillar. Oh, here's my little favorite little bouncy pairs. They're so cute. You know what, I feel like I've been here before. I think this is kind of like a hub room, you know? Because it's like you can go every which way. So it's a room that you encounter a lot. Here's our little bat room again. Uh, let's just go. Let's just go! I thought I could do that, you know, more gracefully than I did, but apparently not. Uh, like legs. I like them as an enemy in the sense like I like what they look like and I think it's cute they're called like likes and that they look like pancakes. It looks like they're drenched in syrup also doesn't it? Whose eyeballs are those? Oh it's my little friends. The whatchamacallit. The gel. I like them. Alright so let's go up. I don't think I have to kill them all. Oh god I'm just I'm just running for it. Oh that was nice. Nice escape. Ah! Oh, it's one of these. Ah! Oh no. Traps, 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 traps. Ah! Okay, so we came out of those stairs, so I bet we bomb something. I'm gonna, I'm gonna bomb up and see if that works. Okay, so that didn't work. Let's try uh, over here. <gasps> oh, it worked. Okay. There we go. Uh, what's over here? Oh god, enemies, enemies, enemies. Okay, I don't want to accidentally use a bomb, so I'm gonna put like something else on. Because I always press B when I should not be pressing B. Uh. Ah, okay, so now I need to kill this Patra. I think these are, this is one of my favorite enemies in the game. Ah. Well, I like it better when it's not destroying me. <laughs> and I like how he just has one big eyeball. I think that's kind of funny. Okay, so I'm gonna go up, I think. Yeah. <gasps> oh my goodness! Oh my god, okay, so I had to press pause because, um, that, that's Ganon. He's very cyan. Alright. Oh no, okay. Oh, wait. Ah. 
So I guess we're just stabbing for him. Stabby, 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 stabby. Oh, look, it's a skull. That's neat. I like that. I like that floor tile. It's a skull. I want that in my house. Okay. Oh, God. And I'm gonna die. Do I have any potion? Okay, I don't have potion, but, um... Oh! I think I'm supposed to use the arrow here. Oh, what? Oh. One HP Aaron, as they like to say in my streams. Watch, I like something hits me right out here. He just went to Ash. Okay, so, uh... Okay, so, um, I guess we'll go up. Just keep on going. <gasps> there she is! Ah! The fire hurts you? Oh my god, I- what if I died there? Oh, okay. <laughs> I just stabbed the fire, that was pretty sweet. Yay, there she is! See, if she had a sword, she could have just stabbed the fire and she could have got out. Well, I don't know, she could at least have gotten out of that room. Thanks, Link, you're the hero of Hyrule! <gasps> They're both holding up the little triforces. Finally, peace returns to Hyrule. This ends the story. Another quest will start from here. Press the start button. Oh yeah, I forgot. So there is another quest, but I'm not doing that today. Right now, at this point in time, I'm totally satisfied with just beating Zelda, the first quest. Like, I'm totally happy. Alright, so that was The Legend of Zelda on NES. I can't believe it's over. That was so involved and long and I've been recording for so long, I'm just like, I don't even know what to say at this point. But it was fun, I'm glad I finally did it. Some parts, I'll admit, I did get a little stressed out and, um, not discouraged, but just like, ugh, angry because I am bad at games where it's just so open and, um, like, where do you go type of situation. So, you know, I did get a little stressed at times, but... It was good. It was good. I'm glad I finally did it. My favorite thing, for sure, about this game were the enemies. I loved the variety. I loved how they all had their own little personality, you know? It's like some did some did this, some moved like that, some you could use the arrow on, some you couldn't, some you couldn't use the wand on, you know? It's like you had to learn about each enemy, and I think that just really helped with the lore of the Hyrule universe and everything. So I really enjoyed that. Probably the be some of the best enemies in like any video game that I've ever played. So that was really fun. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll be back again very soon. Bye.